वेलकम विल स्टार्ट विद नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑन जनरल स्टडीज टुडे वी वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द भारतमाला परियोजना नाउ अंडर भारतमाला परियोजना वी विल सी हाउ ऑल द प्रोग्राम्स दैट वर प्रीवियसली अंडर एन एच टी पी दैट्स नेशनल हाईवे डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम हैव बीन सब्ज्यूम्ड अंडर द भारतमाला प्रोजेक्ट एंड अंडर दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी वुड डिस्कस वाई देर वॉज अ नीड फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कॉरिडोर्स दैट वुड बी बिल्ड अप एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ इन अ नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी वुड टॉक अबाउट द मिनिस्ट्रियल समरी फॉर टू दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन ऑल ऑफ दिस समरी इन डिटेल वुड बी अवेलेबल एट द एग्जाम रेस करंट अफेयर सेक्शन ऑल्टरनेटिवली यू कैन रेफर पी आई बी इफ यू हैव टाइम एंड यू यू कैन डिवोट दैट मेट दैट मच टाइम फॉर द समरी और एल्स इफ यू वॉन्ट द समराइज पोर्शन इट वुड बी अवेलेबल ऑन एग्जाम रेस एंड वी वुड बी टेकिंग द लेक्चर ऑन दैट नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट वी वुड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अंडर द भारत माला परियोजना इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द आइडिया इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नेशनल हाईवेज एंड नेशनल कॉरिडोर्स बट हाउ इट हैज बीन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस स्कीम दैट वॉज एन एच डी पी सो द डिफरेंस हियर द की डिफरेंस हियर इज दिस स्टडी इज बेस्ड ऑन ओ डी एनालिसिस वेर वी टॉक अबाउट द ओरिजन एंड द डेस्टिनेशन so we would be talking about the origin and the destination and then we would be doing a real time traffic analysis bisag is one of the organization in gandhinagar that is providing the real time data for traffic analysis uh, based on geo informatics based on which you have the complete information in which areas you have a kind of critical infrastructure gap and we need to work around those infrastructure gap so what happens is in many of the re uh, regions you have national highways running but those are single lane however there is a requirement of two to three lanes now what happens is what we are trying to do here is we are trying to identify those areas and work around a real time traffic analysis based on that traffic assessment we would be working around the development in those areas again you have two national corridors running up now what would happen is we would have a inter corridor that would be connecting these two national corridors so that's one type of development we are talking about that is inter corridor again there would be other corridors which would be feeding this national corridor and those would be known as the feeder corridor so they are just feeding or they are providing way to the national corridor and therefore those are known as the feeder corridors now that there has been a total length that has been given for a period up to 2022 targets up to 2022 and in phase 1 we have attained uh, certain targets for 2019 and we would be discussing those in detail now another important aspect of this is we are talking on a kind of focus area approach so when we talk about focus area approach our idea is to find out the basic areas where there is more traffic congestion and we are trying to resolve it on a immediate need basis so the areas which are having higher traffic con uh, congestion congestions we are trying to relieve those congestions in those areas so that's a kind of focus area approach the next is the important aspect is a corridor approach we are trying to develop corridors of highways across india so as of now we have six major national corridors these would be increased to 50 as per the न्यू भारत माला प्रोजेक्ट अगेन टिल नाउ यू हैव फोर्टी परसेंट फ्लाइट ट्रांसपोर्ट दैट गोज थ्रू दीज नेशनल कॉरिडोर्स दिस वुड सेट टू इंक्रीज टू सेवेंटी टू एटी परसेंट सो फार नियरली थ्री हंड्रेड अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड डिस्ट्रिक्ट आर कनेक्टेड विद द नेशनल कॉरिडोर्स दीज आर एम टू इंक्रीज टू फाइव फिफ्टी सो वी आर डूइंग अ काइंड ऑफ माइक्रो मैक्रो लेवल अप्रोच सो इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ मैक्रो अप्रोच फॉर प्लानिंग वेर वी आर ट्राइंग टू इनकॉर्पोरेट द वेरियस स्मॉलर सेक्टर्स एंड ब्रिंग दैम टूगेदर अंडर अ काइंड ऑफ अम्ब्रेला प्रोजेक्ट दैट वुड इंक्लूड द एन एच डी पी द हाईवे डेवलपमेंट देन यू हैव द गोल्डन कॉर्डिलेटर कनेक्टिंग द फोर मेट्रोपोलिटन यू हैव द नॉर्थ साउथ सॉरी नॉर्थ साउथ एंड द ईस्ट वेस्ट कॉरिडोर सो ऑल दोज वुड बी ब्रॉट अंडर अ कॉमन एम्बेड अंडर दिस भारत माला परियोजना अगेन the idea is to optimize efficiency for the road traffic so traffic indeed is a big problem and we need to resolve those so uh, working around specific areas and uh, kind of good planning for those areas is important so some of the needs that we have already discussed uh, in our diagrams now next is what are the aims and the objective as we said the idea is to increase the connectivity 
improve the efficiency then we try to connect the backward areas the places of religious interest tourist interest so it should be a kind of global connectivity uh, kind of national connectivity but we are moving way forward from merely a national co uh, connectivity to kind of enabler for other projects so let's say you have the map of india here now what we are trying to do is we are trying to enhance connectivity on the coastal areas now this cannot happen alone so this would happen in line with the sagarmala pariyojana <coughs> sorry so you have sagarmala pariyojana which would be a kind of feeder program for this again we are trying to develop the border roads we are trying to improve the international connectivity so under the bin set you have been all those bharat india and nepal so you have myanmar and thailand so all those areas which are all those nations which are in proximity with india we are trying to improve the connectivity to those nations in order to generate economic growth now as we said we are trying to improve the coastal roads we are trying to improve the border areas we are trying to improve the international connectivity <clears throat> so all these will ultimately generate more logistic demands as a result you have 24 new logistic parks that are coming up and we also talk about the logistic performance index which we call as lpi and this index is very very important this index is given by world bank every 2 years you have a report <coughs> sorry every 2 years you have a report on lpi and the last report was in 2016 the top nation under this report was germany singapore uh, stood at 5th place you had united states at 10th place china at 27th place and india at 35th place now you have uh, syria that was at the bottom of this list now let's understand a kind of scenario here we say in india around 8 to 10% of the cost is Uh, th sorry in china 8 to 10% of the cost is around for the logistics however that cost in india is around 17 to 18% so even if we are producing the same thing or the same material we have a higher logistics cost that means if we are transporting the same item from place a to place b it would cost ultimately more because the cost in the transportation and associated things would be much higher however if the same thing is transported in china or from china the cost would be less so ultimately we do not stand competitive in the international market because of it so the idea is to improve the lpi or the ranking on the logistics performance index this index is based on six parameters that we would study as we move forward so this was just a kind of brief introduction about it we have already talked about the development of national corridors connection of various districts and uh, the kind of employment the direct and the indirect employment that would be generated through it now here you have some of the facts that are given under this scheme so you have nearly 9000 kilometers of economic corridor You have six thousand kilometers of inter corridor and feeder corridor route in the phase one. Five thousand kilometers of national corridor efficiency improvement. Around two thousand kilometers of border roads and international connectivity. And you have port connectivity and coastal roads. And finally, we talk about the green field expressways, which aim for express gains. So here is a kind of important table that would help you summarize the total uh, projected developments. in under this bharat mala pariyojana and what we aim for under the phase 1 so you have the various ideas so you have the economic corridor the total length we plan to build uh, build and uh, what has been the aim for the phase 1 so similar is the details here this would be available on the exam rays uh, current affairs section so you can just refer that now coming on to the efficiency of national corridor definitely when we are saying we are building 50 national corridors we need to have higher efficiency so we need to find out the areas which are the choke points or where, where you have higher traffic issues so we need to work around the decongestion of those choke points we need to work around construction of the ring roads bypass then you have the elevated corridors uh, over bridges on the train under bridges around the railways so all those would be part of this national corridor idea then you have 
addressing the infrastructure asymmetry so some areas or some states have very good infrastructure the other states lack in the infrastructure so there is a kind of asymmetry in the infrastructure that exists and what this project aims to work around is or rule out this uh, asymmetry so providing a kind of symmetrical infrastructure across india would be a paramount importance under this project now what are the details when we talk about choosing the project so first of all we choose the project based on the origin destination as we said so we need to understand the traffic flow the real time traffic analysis we need to work around the freight flows and finally we already talked about bisag that's the bhaskaracharya institute for space application and geoinformatics in gandhinagar which would be providing the information uh, on the infrastructure gaps in the traffic now the next important thing is the execution of this project so execution uh, requires a kind of ppp model that's public private partnership model then we talk about the environmental clearances land acquisition that would be done for building out the roads and finally we need to have a bolder vision much bolder than the nhdp vision that we talked about so these are some of the important things that we discussed now the scheme is a kind of uh, approval under the technical empower appraisal we can say economic appraisal and financial appraisal and this has been empowered by the project appraisal and technical security committee which has been set up by the national highway authority of india and mod that is ministry of rail transport and highway sorry road transport and highway now this project would have experts from niti ayog who would be working on it and you would have dedicated recommendations now mod or the ministry of road transport and highway along with this has given laid down certain other important projects those are the development of the north east so you have special accelerated road development program for north east and we want to integrate north east to the remaining country so we have to identify the areas and we have to work around those the next is upgrading the single lane to at least two lane areas through externally aided projects then building up various bridges under the name of the project would be the setu bharatam where there would be nearly 1500 bridges and 208 railway over bridges or under bridges that would be developed and finally you would have a special package for jammu kashmir logistic performance index we have already talked about some important highlights so you would have the efficiency of the clearance uh, process that would be seen uh, the quality of the infrastructure that needs to be checked out then you have ease of arranging the competitively priced shipments and competence and quality of the logistics that would be considered we will also talk about the timeliness of the shipment under this so these are some of the key highlights with this we cover uh, the lecture and we would be talking about the ministerial summary in the next class so stay tuned uh, do subscribe to the channel if you have any doubts you can leave those as a comment below have a very good day ahead